Dia do it, dober dan, and marhaba. Hey, it's time from Green Shorts. Today I'm actually practicing with my two gasifying wood stoves. I didn't use the word gasification in my last video because I felt like it would have been dishonest. I started to use that word, but then I edited it out because I realized I didn't know enough about the process to be speaking to it intelligently. <laughs> So I actually did some research on YouTube and I found a really amazing channel. Heath Putnam has a 14 video playlist on wood gas stove science and optimization. If you wanna do a deeper dive into gasification wood stoves, you can check out the channel. I'll put a link in the card above and in the description below. That's this prototype here. And you can still see that there's a ring of coals around the outside, but black charcoal in the middle. So I'm wondering if I didn't do enough holes. I am experimenting with a couple of different fuels. I had some pellet fuel on hand that I'd forgotten about, and that was the fuel that the channel I was watching was using. So I'm giving that a try. And while I was burning stuff, I thought I might as well make lunch. So I've been moving my pot back and forth between the two stoves to utilize whichever one was burning better. I know the wind chimes are a little bit loud right here. One observation is that when the stoves go to coal, like that one was, adding a little bit more fuel and then hitting again with a torch starts the fire going. You can see this, the wispy smoke kind of hanging out low over the fuel. So the fuel is gasifying, releasing the gases that will burn, and the oxygen flowing in through the air holes is connecting with those gases to form that combustion equation. On a whim, I put a bunch of pistachio shells in on top of some coals, and they started burning. I love pistachios. I eat a lot of them and I've always been curious if I could use this for fuel. So I've been composting my pistachio shells, but now I'm going to save them for fuel. I may have overloaded it there. But check that out, that's so cool. I plugged up all the lower air holes with shells so it's not getting any combustion air. You can see most of the fire is coming out of the top holes now. At least on three sides. And now all four are burning. But no fire down low. It looks like it's gasifying in the lower part of the stove and then igniting when it gets that oxygen coming in from the top holes. It's pretty cool for a couple of soup cans and four screws.
I've also been messing around with some sustainable fuels, including recycled coffee stirs and used chopsticks. In my unscientific observation here, the stove with the holes in the bottom of the inner can is burning better than the stove with without. With the insulated bottom, it doesn't have that those extra air holes in the bottom. My ramen never got to a full boil here, but that's okay. I think it's cooked long enough that I can enjoy it. Got this at the Korean market. This is the hot stuff. Wish me luck. Take this off the fire and let it cool down a little bit. Still some charcoal down there in the middle, so I may need to add some more holes. One thing that just struck me is that when I'm making biochar with a gasifier, I'm using indirect heat to cook the wood gas out of the wood and, and then burning that. And it leaves the charcoal or the biochar behind. So perhaps that's what's happening here as well. The combustion process here separates the wood gas first from the carbon in the wood and then burns that separately, leaving that carbon behind. I need to do a little bit more research, a little more testing before I'm completely confident with that statement, but there's my non-scientific guess or estimation at this point in the process. My next video in this series is going to be a gasifying fire pit. I picked up two stainless steel boilers at my local Walmart. They're different sizes and I'm going to attach them together and, and make a fire pit. So stay tuned for that video. Thanks so much for my patrons and members for helping make these videos possible. As always, my mission here at Green Shorts is to help you see green so you can be green and save a little green by doing it yourself. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next Saturday. Woo, spicy!